As you have a logical mind, there's another mind which is completely different. Now you can do telepathy, you can do telekinesis, these are divya manas. At that stage, it is very easy to develop that, but it also brings immense suffering. The body or this what you call as yourself evolves itself in many different stages. Looking at this evolution in yoga, we see this as seven different stages or we say seven different bodies man has. Seven different bodies need not necessarily mean actually seven different bodies. These are seven different stages in which one grows. From zero to seven, up to seven years of age, only the physical body grows. This is Thul Sharif or the grass body. 7 to 14, another body which is called as Bhav Sharif, the emotional development of a person happens. From 14 to 21, next 7 years, the Manasik Sharif or the mental body evolves. That is when the intellect develops. When intellect develops, his interest to learn all these things will come. But generally today, modern society is limited only to these three states of the body. The physical body, the emotional body and the mental body. After that, we are not seeking any development. The next seven years are for Divya Manas. As you have a logical mind, there is another mind which is completely different. In yoga, we avoid this fourth level of development because once your person goes into this, he becomes miraculous. Many, many miracles start happening around him. What is there can be here, what is here can be there, you know what is happening there, these kind of things. In yoga, we seal this route. We don't allow people to go into Divya Manas because it is still mind. It may be Divya means it's a grand mind, you know. Mind on a much grander scale than that we know as mind is. Once you enter this mind, you know everything, you know. Not everything, but when compared to other people, you look like a miracle. Once this happens, people generally lose the next stage of development. Most people will not have the maturity to just push it aside and go ahead. They will always get entangled with this. This is still a psychic state. Now you can do telepathy, you can do telekinesis, all these things, these are divya manas. From twenty-one to twenty-eight, this mind can be easily developed, this is a natural process. At that stage, it is very easy to develop that point, that kind of ability. But people who are on the spiritual path should never seek that, because all that you will end up with is a higher level of the mind. As it is, mind is deceptive. A higher mind is even more deceptive. It gets you entangled in a much deeper way than the low mind. So we just keep that aside. Nobody will seek the Absolute once they come to contact with Divya Manas because it's so huge, so vast, so miraculous. It feels like God. You don't need anything more. That's a, that's a kind of feeling that it creates. But it also brings immense suffering. As normally a person who goes into Divya Manas, after forty-seven, forty-eight years of life, Tremendous amount of suffering is brought about. On the path of yoga, we are trying to bypass a few things and go always to complete emptiness, total dissolution, because till then the job is not done. Once we approach spirituality as a science, then we are not looking for entertainment on the path. Whatever little, little things happen, we are only looking at it as a stepping stone for something bigger that can happen. We are never looking at it as a big entertainment and getting enamored with that. It is very, very important. Little people feel like this in meditation, they are thrilled. And you find within two months, they are again down. You know, this is happening repeatedly because you get entertained. Don't get entertained with what is happening. Whatever is happening, the our thing is only to reach the goal. Once a person has chosen the spiritual path, the way he sits, the way he stands, the way he eats, the way he speaks, the way he thinks and the way he lives, everything has to be spiritual. 
So every aspect of our life has to become yoga, every aspect of life has to become a process of growth. This solar system, human system is an ultimate machine, hundred and fourteen chakras in the system, you can move them. If you arrange it in a certain way, you've become a full-fledged divine entity. We don't allow people to go into Divya Manas. Once you enter this mind, you know everything. It is more attractive than anything that you know in your life. All the seven different chakras are in your feet. There is a whole technology about how to hold the feet. What you cannot achieve in years and years of sadhana, you may achieve in a moment. Your nervous system is capable of feeling how old the flowers are, every moment absolutely you are with that dimension which is the basis of everything. <laughs>